You know, I think we've come a long way in terms of measurement um, in both addressable and non-addressable channels. I think when you think about multi-touch, uh, multi-touch attribution, that continues to be a barrier, and it's not so much because of the traditional barriers of um, you know, offline to online. It actually sometimes comes down to the walled gardens. So really trying to think about like video and spaces like the Facebooks or the Amazons, um, which are walled gardens, harder to track with a DMP or really sequence those audiences between channels. You can often do it between digital and traditional or digital and uh, addressable video. But when you start to add in some of those platforms that again are walled gardens, that's when we kind of struggle with some of that MTA um, or digital trend attribution modeling. So summarizing, um, it's interesting because we were just talking about like we are well beyond the traditional 30 second legacy spot. There's still so much power, I think, in video. You've got that sight, sound, and motion, but there's so much transition, obviously. Um, when I'm talking to creatives and I see them come up with great storytelling ideas and they do it in the horizontal frame, I say, oh, if only we would have caught this like pre-production because sometimes it comes down to getting or capturing content, producing content in a vertical frame versus a horizontal frame can make all the difference when it comes down to media buying. Um, because the way the story translates in mobile now in that vertical environment compared to um, how it translates in the horizontal environment in some traditional um, platforms. It's so interesting because you've got such scale in both and to be able to have that flexibility or sometimes think mobile first when it comes to, to video can be really impactful. If I had the silver bullet, I'd be rich. <laughs> I probably would have started my own company and shopped it around. Um, but I think it goes back to my original point in the first question, like that silver, silver bullet of trying to get to addressability and think about messaging sequencing across channel and across platform. Um, we've come such a long way and you know we've definitely made progress but really being able to get a hundred percent there versus let's say 60 70 percent there is going to make all of the difference. So while I don't have the silver bullet like I'm hopeful that some of the closed walled gardens um, and that's not just digital that includes like connected OT OTT being able to open up some of that up some of that um, like barrier to measurement I think is going to make a big difference I feel like I see one uh, every single week I'm kind of like shocked um, or wondering constantly like what is this going to mean um, you know Disney's acquisition recently, $70 billion, finally comes to a close um, for 21st Century Fox, opening up um, access to Hulu, Star Wars, like all of that content. That's always so interesting because you see some of these bigger players. We've always talked about how fragmented it is and how many players are out there, but you start to see that cons consolidation and that consolidation starts to tighten up how some of these different platforms in theory work together and I think like that's definitely something that I keep my eye on because that that's some of the barriers just to measurement or how we buy inventory um, and different sources that we're getting inventory from so I definitely keep my eye on that type of news as well as thinking obviously we were talking about Sling TV um, Sling TV is a perfect example of, of like how we really can tap into addressable video, but seeing now some of the other um, players coming into the space, Apple TV, uh, the app, like that announcement just coming out a few weeks ago, YouTube TV trying to make a big play in the space, again these are all competitive um, platforms, but they have some really strong, strong backings. Um, based on their parent company, so keeping an eye on how that transforms not only video, but addressable search, addressable display, um, definitely something to keep my eye on. So I work in a very traditional vertical, consumer packaged goods, fast moving food. Um, it's interesting because we don't have the luxury as much uh, when it comes to, to digital attribution. Um, if you don't have an MTA, if you don't have a DMP, you're often kind of waiting on those annual or maybe biannual MMM results, which sometimes that delay in itself is almost a year uh, in the making, which 
it becomes a struggle to try and make the best purchasing decisions and the best planning decisions for that type of brand.